aren't going. I want to commend and thank the TechStop staff for the very courteous and professional way that you have handled your responsibility through, through these hearings, knowing that you are dealing with something that is very unpopular with the public. Very unpopular. And also, and also our DPS troopers whose courtesy to the public is absolutely impeccable. This project, if followed through and completed as planned, will be one of the biggest single exercises of forcible eminent domain in the history of the entire United States. Now, you may remember, you, some of you may, re you may remember last year the United States Supreme Court came out with a decision called Kelo versus Town of New London, Connecticut. And there was a lot of public outcry about that ruling because it, that ruling fundamentally disrupted the proper relationship and checks and balances between the individual and the government with respect to the government taking of property through eminent domain. Because, it, because under that decision, the Supreme Court said it is okay under the Bill of Rights for, for government to take private property in order to turn it over to, in order to turn it over to a private corporation to use for profit. Now, most people in Texas were real upset about that, and with good reason. Now, this thing here, this huge project of eminent domain, forcible eminent domain, will destroy, not just alter, it'll destroy the proper balance between the individual and government with respect to the individual's ability to control his or her own property. Because if this huge thing goes through, which is going to take away over half a million acres of private Texan property, most of it good farm and ranch land, then there will be no eminent domain project that will ever be off limits. You see, it'll, it'll, it'll be a big green light that will make anything possible, and it will make private property lose its sovereignty. Now, now this will not only, when this is done, a company, or, or let me be technical, a limited partnership known as Centra Zachary will collect the tolls for 50 years. The majority owner of that limited partnership is Centra. Centra is a conglomerate of Spanish corporations. A part 